Dave. I remember the first few Father's Froms I went to, you used to have a, a nice uncut sheet of these Tri Logos, didn't you? Is there a story behind <laughs> that you can share? Because that, that's quite an interesting that, piece. That was a brilliant thing to see. That really was. Yeah. Well, the story has been so convoluted now where people just say the wrong thing that it's been wrapped up in sausages and stuff like that it's like oh my gosh but the story behind it was one of my customers we were talking and he said that he had uh, a sheet of the card backs that he had as as a kid normally when you enter into these kind of conversations not to say that they're not all true but like a lot of the story is always embellished with additional things and you know people swear that they had a rocket firing boba fett when they were a kid and this that and and everything else but when he was talking about what it was i knew like oh, hang on a second that doesn't quite sound right you know because i thought he was talking about like posters that he got from like john menzies or or you know packed in with like the toys or something like that and you know just as we were like talking and he was like well you know it might might still be like knocking around and and he then rang up saying, no, I've managed to find it. Do you want to come and see it? I was like, yeah. So I, I, I drove over, not, not really expecting it to be what it was. And for the benefit of anybody who's listening to this who not come across this before, what he had was an uncut sheet of tri-logo cards. So at the printers, these things are layered up as multiples on a sheet of card, and then they're like die cut and then used to then apply the action figures. And this was a, an, an assorted sheet that had not just current new figures that would be for like the tri-logo side of things. It was also like some of the, the more rare or obscure ones, like a Jawa was on there and Bespin Luke. But you had like Wicket, Hand Trench Coat, Leia Poncho, ATST Driver. So it was a real sort of like mix and match, but there, I can't, I think it was 36 were on a sheet. Anyway, where this was quite a significant thing, I offered a, a for me and at that point in time a, a, a rather vast sum of money for it and it was like something that I was wanting to try keep as it was because it you know such a significant thing but the story goes that his father worked for Bowie's sausages and it had come in wrapped up with other prints so when you actually looked at the the reverse of the the sheet the alignments so like when you do printing you have black cyan magenta and and yellow but it the orientation of the sheet had gone through for 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 one of the the colors 180 degrees so it was it was mismatched so it was something that can be used when that thing was used for printing to cut up uh f- f- for for the client being like palatoid so rather than just like dispose of it they would just like put it in the off cuts or whatever and then use that to wrap up packages of other clients jobs now what you don't want to do is really wrap up print for palatoid in misprinted palatoid stuff because that's then not sending a good message to your client that they are a good person to use for your printing because look at all these mistakes so what you do is you quite often like substitute it with someone else this this printer which i believe is in the east of the uk because i'm still going through the process of trying like find some more information and, and, and backstory on it did work for other companies and whatever it was for the uh, Bolia's sausages you know it could be point of sale it could be packaging or, or something like that um, but they used this to to wrap it up so it had like three kinks in it where it was like folded over twice to help package this stuff when it was received at the destination the guy unwrapping it goes oh well, that's quite cool. My son's into Star Wars. I'm going to keep that and take that home. It then was on his wall. He, he then pinned it to his wall with like thumbtacks and then thought he'd lost it. But, you know, it was like still up in the loft many years later. So the fact it managed to survive this long, not only from, first of all, you know, it not being shredded when it was like misprinted for it to not to be binned once it'd been used to like wrap up someone else's print job and then for it to then get taken back and then not be disposed of at that point at any you know it's a fantastic journey that this thing went through to even though it's not pristine but still be intact after all of that time is absolutely incredible against all and, odds yeah like literally against all odds breaks my heart to say that it's no longer intact oh, it, really it, it has been cut up which oh, is yeah, which is really heartbreaking. It was sold at the second Celebration Europe, and then 
it was then the bottom line because they they were repeats they were then cut up and then i believe i don't know what they those individual sales sold for but i would imagine that they were quite substantial to probably recoup the, the the cost of like buying the sheet but for fathers from i had this thing literally in the hall the entire time and we had like presentations going on it was behind the, the all the cool stuff pop-up display i literally left it right to the end to then say oh just one more thing there's this it kind of like just like pulled it out and it was one of those moments where people you were just, just like stopped. yeah it was like pe- people like what what what, what what's wow. that and and then there's sort of like the penny dropped for a few people like going oh my god so yeah it was it was a cool thing to do and i had a few people try and offer yeah. there and then but the, the the offers i was being offered were less than what i'd actually paid for it because like i said <laughs> i wanted to do do the guy right because it was you know uh, uh, a very significant thing oh, i can't believe that's been cut up yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I was none the wiser until i saw someone share a picture and i knew i think it was like their sort of like their year's roundup of collecting goals or something like that you know acquisitions and i knew straight away like ah. Uh, what a shame! You know, there's 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 nothing you can say or do about it, and, and I'm I'm cut up now. But there's 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 at least two or three collectors that I can think of that ha- have a piece of it. And like I said, f- for me, it's not so much the fact that it's managed to get into other people's hands to complete their collections. It's more a shame that it managed to survive for so long against all those odds of staying yeah. intact and 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 I will say when I first got it there were people who will remain nameless but they did say to me don't reveal it cut right. it up and okay. you'll get so much money for it and I was like I'm not doing that there were more people advising me not to go public with it right. and keep it under wraps and then get it cut and then it's kind of like no, I, that, 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 that does it a disservice. You know, it, it's such yeah. an in, incredible thing for, for what it is. Yeah. It, it's sadly right. not the case now. So, so what you saw, John, was genuine history, you know. Well, look, I'm glad that I saw it because the, the, the history has been sort of slightly destroyed. We've got they the memories of being there for us from and seeing it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but like, not, but like the story, you know, people say that it was all used to wrap up meat and stuff like that. It's like, no, it never was. Like, I'd, he- he- I'd heard that story as well. Yeah, and it's kind of like, <laughs> oh my god, pe- people, like, you know, we've yeah, been able to set the record straight now, Dave. Yeah, yeah. They, these things are always kind of like embellished to make them sound crazy. It's kind of like, oh, like it would be covered in blood for a start, <laughs> surely. Like, <laughs> but there you go. Well, did you get to see that in person, Pete? I can't remember if you were going to Father's From. I did. I wasn't there for the reveal, but I think it was the uh, first Father's From I went yeah. to. It was there. I think you brought it out a few after the reveal, didn't you? Yeah, you had it there a few times, didn't you, Dave? It was like, yeah, for for a few years you brought that out, or at least yeah, a few shows. Pri- primarily because people just asked, is there any chance to see it? To see it? Yeah. yeah. You know, because there'd be people who were then aware of it being there. So, so like, Mateus and Shane Turgeon because Mateus was doing like the the packaging book so I think I brought it out to show him and then I think when Stefan and Jan came down as well because of Stefan doing the Trilogo book you know an opportunity for him to see it you want people with the opportunity to see these things Mm. once you let go of something you have no control over it um, no. and, 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 and I, and I can't grumble because I got what I was asking for it. You've done the right thing, Dave. You kept it intact. You know, you've done your bit. That's, that's yeah. Well, 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 like I said, I was, I was very surprised when, you know, several people came back who knew when I was disclosing with them what it was and they were saying, don't go public with it. That actually was quite an eye opener for me. Yeah. Um, but... Yeah. It is a cool, cool thing that, Nobody expected ever to see, but uh, well, I, well, I wonder if anybody else has got one. I've... There is a French collector. It's not not Stefan who, for a period of time, was very interested in in buying it. This is like one of the sort of like black hole collectors where they've got crazy, crazy things. Not just like Star Wars, but like just in general. And they said that they did have a an uncut sheet, but it wasn't as big as that. But unfortunately they didn't share 
what was on that sheet because I, I was just like, oh, cool, you know, is it is, is it the same mix yeah. of figures? Is it all all solid? But like they they wouldn't disclose any further. They just said that that particular one was the largest that they've seen, but it yeah. it's not it wasn't the only uncut sheet. <laughs>